Do you ever wonder if your Google ads are actually working? Are you getting the results that you want? If you're not sure, then this video is for you. It can be tough to know how to check the performance of your Google ads. There's so many metrics to track, so many columns, and it can be hard to know which ones are the most important. In this video, I'm gonna share with you a simple method that you can use to quickly and easily check the performance of your Google Ads. By following this method, you'll be able to quickly identify any areas where your ads are underperforming, overperforming. Uh, this will allow you to make changes to your campaigns and improve your results. My name is Nick Armenis and I've been running Google Ads for well over eight years. I've helped businesses of all sizes uh, achieve their marketing goals. This is in a wide range of niches, uh, areas, any business type you can possibly imagine, but primarily e-commerce is my focus now. And if you like what you see, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more helpful videos. Let's dive into the video. I'm gonna take you into a screen share now. Okay guys, we are live in a client ad account of mine. I'm gonna take you through how, if this came to me and say they wanted an audit, or if I really wanted to just quickly do a top surface level, where are we at health check, how I'm checking my Google ads. Um, we need to first understand what is the purpose when we are assessing Google ad performance, right? So what are we trying to get to? And this, is, this applies to any form of advertising. It's not just Google ads, but what we're trying to do is spot a trend in the data that matters to us. We basically want to know, are things going well or not? And the common questions I get from business owners are, are we getting a good ROI or return on investment or return on ad spend? Are there things, are things better this month when compared to last month or last year? What's the trend happening there? Can we scale this and spend more profitably? A very common question for people when I want to, uh, when they want to scale is, can we spend more on Google Ads profitably? Because most people, when they spend more, they start to make less money, which isn't good. No one obviously wants that. So what this means is we need to know what metrics matter for our business. Okay, so we need to know what matters to us. Now, if if we're an e-commerce business, for the most part, we're going to want to look at our cost, how much we've spent the conversion value, the conversion value over cost or the return on ad spend, this is what this is, and the cost per conversion as well tends to be somewhat important to people because we wanna know, hey, how much are we spending to get a sale, okay? If you're a lead generation business, the only thing that would probably change is your cost, your number of conversions, so you would put the actual conversions uh, number there instead of the value. If you assign a value to conversions, then value still would apply. Um, and then the cost per conversion again. So they're the, they're the metrics we wanna look at. And what you wanna do guys is, and here's a pro tip, before actually digging in, go and have a look in the conversions tab here. Are any conversions being recorded and what are they? Just so we know, is this value here correct? Uh, because if it's pulling data from there and that's not right or it's not pulling data in, then nothing's gonna appear here or it's gonna be incorrect and our whole starting point is gonna be off, right? So pro tip, before we go digging in, check that conversion value there, the, what's registering there and if anything is, because if you're taking a brand new account on or you've got a new account you're looking at, you wanna know are conversions actually being tracked. Now the time periods you wanna look at guys, it really depends on the business, but I like starting off, if it's a new account, I've never been in there, I go all time and I have a look at what is the general trend there. Looks like in 2020, they randomly started, but it looks like 2022 is kind of where ads really start. And obviously since then ads have been running. So for right now, what we can look at is we might just go 12 months back. So I'll go to the 21st of June here. So the 20, yeah, we'll go the 21st, 22nd, it's probably gonna be off by about a day there. But what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to spot a trend here. So this is set to monthly, and I like looking at one thing in particular. Let's look, are we making more money? So is the conversion value going up? Yes, it is, it's going up significantly. So we know that this account on a top line basis, not a, profitable, a profitability point of view, we're every single month managing to grow how much we're making from Google Ads, right? Which is great. Last month is obviously the biggest month so far, and June's not finished yet, so you know we can expect potentially a bit of a dip there, but if the trend is going upwards, then fairly happy days. And what I mean by trend is, the trend is this line here. What is the trend? You can look at it uh, quarterly if you want to look at the quarterly trend as well. You can even look at it weekly to see is there a weekly trend? That is also positive. Obviously, the, the smaller you go down, the more up and down you're gonna see, and that's totally normal. But we wanna see the long-term trend over a year, this is positive, right? 
Now, let's look at a more recent trend. We'll look at 30 days and we'll look at it. Let's just go weekly for now. And again, on a weekly basis, it looks like the trend is also positive. And the reason we wanna look at that is what's happening more recently. You can also go back, say, around 90 days or three months as well, if you want to, to look at a bit further and just see, uh, as you go further, you wanna adjust that. So you probably wanna go weekly when you do that. Again, the overall trend is relatively positive. It looks like potentially here we had a bit of a lull. Again, this week isn't finished. Um, and then if we go monthly, Again, we're relatively flat over that period, up a little bit here, and that's why you wanna look at longer periods of time because if you're not looking at a long enough period of time, remember, the thing I preach is Google Ads is a long-term game. Uh, it's th The shorter time frames really aren't that important, and I also will occasionally look at the last seven days just to see what's happening. Are we going up, down, indifferent? And get used to using compare, right? Compare is gonna compare a like for like period. So when you look at a, a week though, it's quite often down because it takes time for conversions to be reported into Google Ads. So that's why I prefer to look at say 30 days and compare it to the prior 30. And realistically, you wanna wait a couple of weeks before actually coming in and checking this because again, it's gonna show that it's down when it might not be. You can double check this with your data in other areas like say Shopify and things like that. But let's not overcomplicate it. The first thing we're looking at is on a top line basis, are we getting more money, making more sales? And then the other factor we wanna look at is return on ad spend as well is another one. So let's go back to our year period. Remember, you can use that compare uh, this period versus last to give you an idea as to month on month, period on period, are we doing better or worse? But again, make sure you like now it's the 23rd, I could go and look at May quite comfortably with using the compare button and, and get a good idea as to whether or not we're doing better or worse this month, right? Uh, better or worse in May versus, the pre uh, versus April. And overall, we made more money, but we also spend a bit more, right? So that's the other factor. We need to be looking at spend. Is spend going up? And on this account, it definitely is. And that's okay as long as sales are going up as well. But are we balancing that with return on ad spend? Because basically in this account, we'd go, hey, top line sales are looking good. We've spent a good amount of money. Uh, sorry, we, we've made a good amount of money. We probably need to get costs under control a bit more, or we might be happy because in particular, this business is a supplements business. So for this customer, it doesn't matter. They wanna spend more because each customer has a very high lifetime value. If it was low, lower, I'd start looking at how can I improve the cost per conversion? Can I cut some products? Can I remove some keywords? What, what are the actions I can take? And that's the other, like I just said, let's look at cost over time. How is that trending? Let's go back. We'll go say to the 1st of May. Oh, I went a bit too far. 2022, just to give us a, a rough period, we're not gonna compare. And as you can see, yes, consistently, we have spent more and more and more, and our return on ad spend is slowly, gradually getting lower. And that happens as you spend more, but what can you do to offset it? Big part is, can you optimize your back end as well? So can you do better email marketing, SMS, and things like that? So these are the factors you wanna be looking at. Um, once we know, guys, at this top level what the trend is, we can start digging in to individual campaigns. And you can do this from the overview if you want, or you can go to the campaigns tab. You do get quite a bit of information here as to the summary of your campaigns, what's doing well, what isn't doing well in here. And then it can give you a little bit of like what's trending. Like you can see steroids and performance is up 36%, vitamins and supplements up 16. Then you can see here what sort of searches you're coming up for as well. But what we wanna do is we wanna start digging one layer deeper, which campaigns are doing well and which aren't. So most of the time, again, we're gonna look at cost, conversion value, conversion, things like that, and conversion value over cost, right? So straight away, this is a new campaign, so please ignore that right now. Straight away we go, okay, the Performance Max campaign is has a slightly lower return on ad spend, but it makes sense because we've spent a lot more. But what we could do is we could start going one layer deeper. And this is how you would do it for a Performance Max campaign. You would start, you could look at the individual asset groups, the assets, 
and then you could drill deeper. You could go to the product level. You can go, okay, which products are driving all my um, spend and potentially not giving me a good return on ad spend? So this one in particular here has below a one. So this would be a candidate to remove this product, right? Anything that's doing poorly, we could remove it totally and make sure we're not spending any money on that campaign. The other thing we could do is we could go into our settings and we could set a target return on ad spend for something like this, right? That's, that could be the next step. Anyway, this is just, the purpose of the video is to show you how to read it, which metrics matter. I've kind of told you which metrics at the top level, everything else other than the ones I've just told you are vanity metrics. Even conversion rates, like it's great, but it's like, what is it really telling me at the ad level? Like on a website, on a landing page, it tends to tell you a little bit more, but at this level, what is it telling you? For a standard shopping campaign, we'll look at this and we can go, hey, can we spend more money on this given that it's giving us a better return on investment? But again, what we can do is we can look at individual products, see how they're going, go filter, sort by cost and see, hey, can I remove anything here that's not giving me a good bang for buck? I'll look at here, 1.42 conversion value over cost or return on ad spend. This product here might be a candidate to remove. You can also start to see, are there any problem products in the merchant center as well? Like, can we remove those? Uh, can we improve those, sorry? We've got out of stocks. You can, you can see quickly, you'll be able to identify problems. So if something's out of stock, how are you gonna sell it? That could be why your sales are down, right? So you kind of get where I'm going. The next level you would look at for a campaign like this, for a shopping, you would go to your search terms and you'd have a look and see, are there any search terms that have got a poor return on investment. Now this one here, we've spent $165, got no sales, but the cost per click's really high. It's really only 31 clicks. If I was drop shipping or I wasn't married to these products, I'd probably not remove it, but this is a very relevant term to what we're selling. And the fact we've got no sales is puzzling because just above whatever that, that product is with a space, without the space, it's not getting sales. With the space, it's getting plenty of sales. So but it could be a candidate to remove that one. Here, this product, we've spent $56 here, no sales. Let's remove that keyword. And, and you kind of get the drift. You just click it, add as a negative keyword. Uh, lastly, you can go even deeper and look at audiences, locations, adding an ad schedule, devices, things like that. But again, first things first, see if there's an actual, what is the trend? Are we doing well? Are we doing poorly? Set some benchmarks for your own business. Every business is a little bit different. Basically run ads for a couple of months, set a benchmark, continuously improve it. If you do want information guys on optimizing, cause this really wasn't the purpose of this video, it was literally just, hey, what's good? What should I be looking at? Um, I'll leave some links below and you can uh, focus more on optimization and scaling. But this is basically what you wanna look at guys. One more thing that I will show you before I go in the, um, in insights, you can have a look in here as well. But if I go to the performance max campaign here and I go insights and then auction insights, and then if I go at the shopping level, you can benchmark yourself to competitors. And what you can do then is you can go, okay, sweet. I will now go and look at my competitors. I'll compare my Google shopping listings because even with performance max, most of the time, your sales are going to be coming from your shopping listing ads in shopping in the tab. You can see, what are they doing? Am I, can I improve it? So this is basically what you should be looking at most of the time, guys. This is gonna give you a good idea. And uh, that's kind of it for the screen share component. We'll jump back out and I'll sign off on the video. So guys, that is my really simple method for checking the performance of your Google ads. This method is based on my experience in my agency, managing well over $100 million in Google ad spend. Uh, if you enjoy this video, please make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for a new video dropping every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.